Hi, today we're going to talk about secure messaging apps, voice over the internet protocol, which is VOIP. Um, I picked two of them today, which is Signal and Element. Signal and Element. All right, so I picked those two because those are the most secure out of all of them out there um, if you want video and voice call. Um, not only uh, secure, but one of them has decentralization, which makes it better because it can't be shut down. So let's get into it. Um, There's several things that you want to make sure your application is secure. It must be decentralized, open source, and true end-to-end -end encryption. True end-to-end -end encryption means zero back doors. There's a lot of messaging apps out there like WhatsApp, Viber, and uh, multiple other ones that says that's in, that's end-to-end, -end, but it is not end-to-end -end encrypted. It is uh, has back doors in it because they want to see if there's any hate speech or something like that reference of hate speech. Um, they believe that's the way to censor people is through hate speech. We all know that that's not the case. It's just another tool to spy on you to make sure you're not doing something uh, motivated against the big corporations or something like that. Um, but what I like to use it for is just to make sure it's a secure messaging app between two people or a group call. Um, that's my reasons for it. I don't like to leave my window open when I change, or I don't like to leave the bathroom stall door open when I go to the bathroom. Um, everybody says that you have nothing to hide. Why do you need it? Everybody has something to hide. Everyone. And if you deny that you don't want to hide something, then you're just lying to yourself. Um, I believe not hiding anything like uh, illegal or anything like that, just stuff that you don't want other people to hear that you believe that should be between two people. Um, and I believe that should be the case. We have private conversations in our house that we don't want to have someone else hear. And I would like that the same way on my communications as well. Um, so anyway, we picked Signal and Element. All right, they're both very good apps um, to use. Um, of course, they're not, nothing's perfect, but this is the most perfect. Um, so Signal has all those, it's, it's open source and it's true end-to-end -end encryption. Now, however, Signal is not decentralized. It is centralized, which means if the government wants to have your, have the communication shut down, all I have to go to is the main headquarters of Signal and say, I want that shut down. And if they don't do it, they shut the business down, which means your communication is gone, right? That's one aspect of centralization. That's what can happen. The government can shut it down or something. Uh, let's say you go into a communist country, they could easily shut that down by going to uh, one central place, okay? Um, element is different. It has decentralization, open source, and it's true end-to-end -end encryption. Uh, decentralization means there's no one computer or no one headquarters that it's, it's on. It's on everybody's computer which means it's very difficult to shut down unless you shut down everybody's computer. That's what makes Element a much better secure platform. Um, it, so Element just meets all the criteria and all the requirements that an individual would need. Um, and it does everything that you want. It may not be as fast or as speedy, um, but it does, uh, 
instant messaging, uh, video calls, you can attach pictures, you can attach documents. So the basic stuff that you need, you can send. You can also send voicemail, voice messages or video messages if you'd like. Um, so it just checks all the boxes of something that you would need. Now, I'm not saying it can't be shut down. It can be shut down if you flip the internet off. So if, the, if something major happens and you want to shut the whole system down, they could flip a switch, shut the internet down, and no one has communications worldwide, right? Or, or country or statewide. Um, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, I'm not going to go into details about it. You can do the research yourself. Uh, but those are two that I'm going to give you. That's good. I have both. Um, that's very, very attractive. Um, Signal is a little bit more of a cleaner UI. Um, it's, it's a more, I call it the, the windows of applications versus maybe a Linux elements, more of a Linux style. Uh, a little bit, a little bit harder to use, a little bit more settings and stuff like that. Um, but if you're truly wanting to go for something secure, I would use Element. And that's my daily day stuff, day-to-day -day stuff that I use is, is Element versus Signal. Uh, but it is nice to have a backup, so I have them both. Some people, uh, some of my friends or family members have Signal, so I'll use Signal. And um, some of them have, have Element. Uh, trying to get them all switched over to Element, but for now, that's what we got, and uh, both of them are very good, uh, but I just choose Element. Anyway, I wanted to let you guys know what I believe the best uh, secure messaging VOIP app is, and I, I choose Element. Anyway, take care, guys. Have a good one. This is just short and brief, letting you know which is the best. Talk to you later.